A pleasant morning everyone. I am Maria Donna Oshidi Plikin, 32 years old, from Progreso Alicia Bohol, applying for a teacher position in Alicia Technical Vocational High School. Let me present to you my lesson plan for today. Good morning everyone. Please stand up for our prayer. Joshua, please lead a prayer. Okay, please take your seats. Uh, kindly pick up some pieces of paper in your chair. Okay, uh, before we proceed, let me first check your attendance. Miss Monitor, who are absent for today. Okay, very good. Only two, two students were absent for today. Today, we will have another lesson to discuss. But before that, let us have some recap of our past lesson. James, can you recall what is our past lesson? Okay, very good. It is about the respiratory and the circulatory system. And Anna, can you give me some comparison about the respiratory and the circulatory system? Okay, very good. The respiratory system moves gases in and out of the blood where the circulatory system moves blood into the whole parts of our body. So, they work together to circulate blood and oxygen throughout our body. So, I believe that you have fully understand our lesson about respiratory and circulatory system. Okay, moving on. I have here some pictures. I want you to look closely about those pictures. What do you think is the organ system responsible in the following pictures? Yes, princess. Very good. It is the digestive system. And before we continue, let me first state our objective for today. First, our obje objective is to define the digestive system. Second, to illustrate the process of the digestive system. And third, appreciate how the digestive system works. Okay, our topic for today is all about the digestive system. Okay, Carlo, do you know what is a digestive system? Okay, very good. A digestive system is a group of organs working together to convert food to energy and basic nutrients to feed the entire body. Uh, can you imagine yourself without having a digestive system? Of course not. So it would be very impossible. So do you want to know how the digestive system process works? Are you excited about it? Okay, let us have a video about how our digestive system works. Across the whole planet, Humans eat on average between 1 and 2.7 kilograms of food a day. That's over 365 kilograms a year per person, and more than 28,800 kilograms over the course of a lifetime. And every last scrap makes its way through the digestive system. Comprised of 10 organs, covering 9 meters, and containing over 20 specialized cell types, this is one of the most diverse and complicated systems in the human body. Its parts continuously work in unison to fulfill a singular task, transforming the raw materials of your food into the nutrients and energy that keep you alive. Spanning the entire length of your torso, the digestive system has four main components. First, there's the gastrointestinal tract, a twisting channel that transports your food and has an internal surface area of between 30 and 40 square meters enough to cover half a badminton court. Second, there's the pancreas, gallbladder, and liver, a trio of organs that break down food using an array of special juices. Third, the body's enzymes, hormones, nerves, and blood all work together to break down food, modulate the digestive process, and deliver its final products. Finally, there's the mesentery, a large stretch of tissue that supports and positions all your digestive organs in the abdomen enabling them to do their jobs. 
The digestive process begins before food even hits your tongue. Anticipating a tasty morsel, glands in your mouth start to pump out saliva. We produce about 1.5 liters of this liquid each day. Once inside your mouth, chewing combines with the sloshing saliva to turn food into a moist lump called the bolus. Enzymes present in the saliva break down any starch. Then your food finds itself at the rim of a 25 centimeter long tube called the esophagus, down which it must plunge to reach the stomach. Nerves in the surrounding esophageal tissue sense the bolus's presence and trigger peristalsis, a series of defined muscular contractions. That propels the food into the stomach, where it's left at the mercy of the muscular stomach walls, which pound the bolus, breaking it into chunks. Hormones secreted by cells in the lining trigger the release of acids and enzyme-rich juices from the stomach wall that start to dissolve the food and break down its proteins. These hormones also alert the pancreas, liver, and gallbladder to produce digestive juices and transfer bile, a yellowish-green liquid that digests fat, in preparation for the next stage. After three hours inside the stomach, the once shapely bolus is now a frothy liquid called chyme, and it's ready to move into the small intestine. The liver sends bile to the gallbladder, which secretes it into the first portion of the small intestine, called the duodenum. Here, it dissolves the fats floating in the slurry of chyme so they can be easily digested by the pancreatic and intestinal juices that have leached onto the scene. These enzyme-rich juices break the fat molecules down into fatty acids and glycerol for easier absorption into the body. The enzymes also carry out the final deconstruction of proteins into amino acids and carbohydrates into glucose. This happens in the small intestine's lower regions, the jejunum and ileum, which are coated in millions of tiny projections called villi. These create a huge surface area to maximize molecule absorption and transference into the bloodstream. The blood takes them on the final leg of their journey to feed the body's organs and tissues. But it's not over quite yet. Leftover fiber, water, and dead cells sloughed off during digestion make it into the large intestine, also known as the colon. The body drains out most of the remaining fluid through the intestinal wall. What's left is a soft mass called stool. The colon squeezes this byproduct into a pouch called the rectum, where nerves sense it expanding and tell the body when it's time to expel the waste. The byproducts of digestion exit through the anus, and the food's long journey, typically lasting between 30 and 40 hours, is finally complete. Okay, now to fully understand our topic, uh, let's have an activity. So I want you to group yourselves into four with five members each. Uh, I want you to illustrate the process of the digestive system and fill in the names of the important parts of the digestive system. Do this within five minutes and afterwards present your output in our class. So, time's up. Uh, let us start our presentation with group number one. Okay, very good. All the groups have presented their out output very well. Do you have any questions? Do you understand our lesson? Okay. I have here another question. Why is digestion important? Yes, Peter. Okay, very good. Digestion is important for breaking down food into nutrients, which the body uses for energy, growth, and cell repair. Food and drink must be ch changed into smaller molecules of nutrients before the blood absorbs them and carries them to cells throughout the body. Okay, so in summary, the digestive system plays a major role in our overall health as it brings nutrients to our body. Any questions so far? If none, let us proceed to your assessment. I want you to get one first sheet of paper for you to answer those questions. Uh, for the instruction, read the statement properly and identify the correct answer. 
Okay, let us start with number one. It is the enzyme that is present in our saliva. Number two, it produces the bile. And number three, it stores the bile. For number four, it is the remains of the digestion after the absorption of the water. Number five, last number, it is where the absorption of the water takes place. Okay? Time's up. Let us check your paper and uh, exchange your papers with your seatmate. Okay, for number one, the answer is yes, pitaline. Number two, the answer is okay, the liver. And number three, the answer is the gallbladder. And number four, it is our stool or or our pieces. And number five, it is the large intestine. Okay, dictate me your score and let me know if you have a high score. Okay, very good. Most of you got high score. So let us give a round of applause to everyone. Okay, for your assignment, I want you to research about the different digestive disorder and write it in your assignment notebook. Thank you and see you tomorrow.